getting Django to recognize PIL JPEG support. I am running Django 1.4 and PIL 1.1.7 in a virtual and manage with PIP. Whenever I upload a JPEG file via my admin interface, I get the following error. Upload a valid image. The file you uploaded was either not an image or a corrupted image. As many Ubuntu users have reported, on installation, PIL erroneously looked in slash user slash lib slash for libjpeg, while its true location was in. That's taken care of, I followed the answers in these posts. Django image field upload a valid image. The file you uploaded was either not an image or a corrupted image. Why can't I upload JPG files to my Django app via admin slash? Now the final output of installation looks as follows. However, Django still doesn't allow me to upload anything but BMP files, which is not acceptable for this project. Unlike the user in the second link, I'm not using Apache, so my problem is probably not related. My suspicion is that Django is still using an old installation of PIL. The problem is that I don't know where it could be getting it from. The files in, dot, dot 7 slash site packages seem up to date to me. Any ideas? Edit 1. Also note that I have tried logging out and logging back in the admin, as well as installing Pillow, as in this post, uploading a JPEG image via Django displays error. It turns out that this whole thing is my fault due to a misunderstanding of how PIP actually works. By habit, I associate any and all installations with superuser privileges, which was not only not necessary in this case, but a recipe for confusion. The first time I installed PIL, I did not prefix it with sudo, but I did each time after. Thus, building from Methan's advice, I checked to see where the import was coming from. It came from the correct place, but it did not have the extensions I desired, despite the post-installation output saying I did. Long story short, I removed the directory from my site packages, then pipfreeze continued to tell me I did not have pill but sudo pip install told me I did. Lesson learned, virtualin is based in the user's directory on the user's privileges. Think twice before combining sudo and pip in the same command.